After war, many things needed to be fixed, including the broken union, solve the economy, the lack of right for free black. The 13th Amendment passed by Senate on April 8, 1864, and by the House of Representatives on January 31, 1865, abolished slavery and involuntary servitude in the United States. The Freedmen's Bureau was established in 1865 in order to assist free slaves as well as poor whites in the aftermath of the Civil War. Blacks were helped financially, socially, and educationally throughout the U.S. Black coat were lost, passed by Southern state. That made it impossible for Africa America to be free and forced them to become laborers. From 1868 to the early 1870s, the Ku Klux Klan functioned as a loosely organized group of social and political terrorists. The Klan was formed in Tennessee in 1866 and was led by Nathan Bedford Forrest. The terrorist acts upon African Americans was most common during the time of the Freedmen's Bureau in hopes of Negro domination and white supremacy. President Andrew Johnson was impeached during the era of Reconstruction in the United States due to his violations of tenure. While in office by removing the Secretary of War from office, he was the first president in the U.S. history to be impeached. The 14th Amendment was ratified on July 9, 1868. It granted citizenship to everyone born within the United States, including former slaves. The 15th Amendment, ratified in 1870, prohibited states from denying voting rights to citizens based on race, color, or previous condition of servitude, meaning no one could be denied this right even if they were previously a slave. In 1872, the Amnesty Act was passed as a law that removed voting restrictions and office holding disqualification for secessionists who rebelled the American Civil War. In 1877, Republicans finally gave up their fight for racial equality and black rights in the South. Rutherford B. Hayes withdrew his last federal troops from the South overall, collapsing the Republican Party and ending Reconstruction. Overall, Reconstruction somewhat failed due to the fact that it only brought more suffering to blacks all the way up to the Civil Rights Movement in the 1950s. Segregation, black rights, and terrorism did nothing but worsen over the course of time after the period. This simply became a victory for Southern whites and another downfall for the African-American race in the United States.